Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvald the Grim here and welcome to Ingest2 Mobile News. For those of you new to the series, this is the series where we discuss the chests that are in the store, the offers that are out there, the challenges that are up and the arena season character in, and if they are worth farming for. So basically over here we talk about what is worth your gems, your energy uh, and your time and your money. Uh, with all that being said, let's get into it, but before that, make sure to leave a like on this video if you like it, leave a dislike if you dislike it, uh, comment down below for any questions that you might have, maybe subscribe for more content like this and maybe hit that bell button to get notified for every single upload. Let's get into the video! First up, let's look at the challenge character, and by the way, I'm doing this on my secondary account, to be relatable to the newer player, it's a 4, it's a four months account, it's all you need to know. So, the challenge character is going to be Starfire. And she's going to have some uh, interesting passive and her abilities are basically just bare bones. They do nothing but raw damage. But the thing that makes her stand out is her passive. Because uh, she is going uh, to be regenerated uh, a percentage of her health for every bar of power the enemy is going to use. And she is also going to be regenerating some power after uh, uh, using super move and is also going to heal her teammates after doing that. So overall this is one of the most annoying characters to fight against in the arena and champions arena and it's going to be a pretty decent tank for you because of that healing. This healing of course uh, does kill with the level of her passive and if you build her like a tank in 99% of the situation if your enemy uses an ability jokes on them because you regenerate more health than you will lose. With all that being said, should you farm her? Yes, you should farm her. She's a pretty good character for Arena and Champions Arena, but unfortunately she does have no use in raids and solo raids. And let's get into the other challenge. The other challenge is still going to be Multiverse Challenge for now. And you should definitely farm this as far as you are able for a few reasons. Uh, so, in order to farm this, you'll need League of Arc characters, unfortunately, and not everybody's going to have them. I, for example, have only one League of Arc character on this account, which is Last Level Joker, and that means I'm able to farm the first difficulty. And in this challenge, you are going to get uh, the following characters that are listed over here. Uh, all of. Oh, excuse me, it's good. This is the text for Multiverse Armor Supergirl. So, you are going to get uh, shards for every Multiverse uh, character, as far as I'm aware, maybe not for Batgirl, and you are also going to have a chance to drop gears for them. So, all of them are good characters, but you're not going to unlock any of them because it has a random chance to give shards for one of them, but you still want to do this because the shards that you're going to get might top off the last few shards you need to level up your Multiverse Armor Supergirl or something. And at the same time, over here you have a very important thing which is chances to drop gears for uh, Multiverse of Flash. Since gears for Multiverse of Flash are not to, nowhere to be found except raid drops and here. And I have geared up my Multiverse of Flash doing this challenge. Again I don't refresh this challenge, I'm just doing it as it is available. So definitely a good spot to try and fish out the gears for uh, Multiverse of Flash. Now let's get into the arena character is going to be just like the Flash and this guy is going to be an amazing character definitely up there on the top with the best characters in the entire game for two reasons. First of all, he will be a Justice League member, so he will uh, have synergies with the other uh, Justice League characters. That means that he will be able to get bonuses from Cyborg's passive, from Aquaman's passive, and so on. And on top of that, he's going to have a very interesting passive, which is going to be Hyper Assault. It's going to make the first special one, two or three of the Justice League team unblockable, but that's not the important part about it. And at the same time, it's going to add uh, plus one uh, fast attack uh, hit for your team. What does that mean? So, you have a stat called fast attack, you have a fast attack chance and a number of fast attack hits. When the fast attack chance triggers, you are going to hit, uh, instead of once, you are going to hit the number of times that your fast attack is over here. Most characters have two fast attack hits, he has three fast attack hits, and on top of that he has one for his passive. So that means two things. First of all, he's going to be the only character in the game that has by himself four fast attack hits. That makes him an amazing combo builder, which means that every time he will do a hit, he has a chance to do four hits instead of one. And at the same time, the fact, the fact that he also gives that to his teammates is going to be amazing, because he's going to be a must-have support character for uh, uh, Black Manta team and for uh, League of Anarchy team when fighting Brainiac. So overall, this guy is going to be a great support character and a great damage dealer himself and the best combo builder in the game. 
great character you can get from the arena seasons, definitely go ahead and farm for him. With all that being said, let's get into the chests and offers. In this store we are going to have the uh, some chests, the Fort of Loy chests that I talked about in the previous video. I'll quickly go over them in case you have missed them. This is going to be the Platinum chest. So, short story, out of all those heroes, uh, the good drops are going to be uh, Black Manta, Arkham Knight Batman or uh, Batman Ninja Will Lagrot. Darkseid is going to be a decent drop, but Brainiac is going to be a crap drop. Brainiac is going to be a character that will be only useful in the same team with Manta, other than that he will be useless, you will get his gears from his challenge. Darkseid is a great character for arena and champions arena, but he sucks in raids and solo raids, you will get his gears from the achievement once you unlock him. Manta is going to be the best character in the entire game, uh, but unfortunately you will need to uh, unlock his gears most likely through paid efforts. Arkham Knight Batman, a great character, a must-have support for the best damage dealing team in the game, and you'll get his gears upon lockment. Batman Ninja Gorilla Grot, a great character, one of the best combo builders in the entire game, you will uh, get his gears uh, same, uh, made most likely through paid offers. So this is going to be the Platinum Chest for you. Is going to have pretty decent chances in terms of the usual chances of getting legendaries in just mobile. Those are still not going to be high chances. And if we cut up the chance of getting Brainiac, because that's a good drop, you'll have a 2.5% to get some good stuff from here. The gold hero might still be useful to some people, silver heroes might be useful to new players. But other than that, this is going to be the best chance you get to get legendary in just mobile. But unfortunately, it's not going to be that high. And the artifact chest, yet again, it's a high risk, high reward chest. It's uh, very good that it's reduced at this price, is uh, a pretty good deal. You'll have chances for uh, some of the new artifacts and some of the old artifacts. And if you get lucky with this and you get one of the new artifacts, this will tremendously boost your progress in solo rates. And you'll most likely get your gems back through progressing in solo rates and getting gems from there. So, with all that being said, this is a pretty damn good chest to get. I would rather get this uh, than the legendary chest. And yes, I have opened this many times and I still haven't got an artifact, an apocalypse artifact. And if I still recommend this chest after all the uh, unfortunate events that uh, happened on this account with this chest, then it's really good. Next up we are going to have the premium chests. Unhinged Harley Quinn is a pretty crap gold character, you shouldn't really go for her. And Starfire, eh, she's decent, she's worth farming the challenge, but I don't think she is uh, that good of a premium chest. So I wouldn't really go for that. Now let's get into the special offers. As I have said previously, this is going to guarantee you on one of the new artifacts. It doesn't matter which one of them, because uh, there are some better arti new artifacts, there are some worse new artifacts, but all of them are going to grant you passive buffs in soul rates. And that is going to be very important. So if you are ever gonna spend money on the game, this is definitely the time, because by getting one of those artifacts, you will get a good value because you will get, uh, you'll have a much easier time getting through soul rates. But again, if you want to spend or not money on this uh, uh, game, it's up to you. I would buy this myself if I haven't promised uh, you guys that I'll keep this account 100% free to play. Uh, gears for uh, Cyborg and Flash. Uh, Flash, uh, I think, still has them in the Arena Store. We'll, we'll check at the end of the video. Hopefully, he still has them in the Arena Store. Uh, you don't no need to get just like the Flash through paid offers because the price, in my opinion, is a little bit on the expensive side. But he's a pretty good character, though don't get him from the offers. Just farm him through the... Uh, Arena. Justice League uh, uh, Cyborg Gear Pack is going to be a decent deal if you want the gears for Justice League Cyborg. It's going to be around $10 and you'll get his gears at level 20. And uh, I must say, I appreciate this. Like, I don't appreciate the fact that they remove his gears from the Arena Store. That I don't appreciate, but that was a long time ago. And uh, in some previous uh, uh, updates, they were selling uh, level 20 gears for uh, $20. Now they decrease them at uh, $10. So I guess it's a change for the better. It's still not good, but a change for the better. And uh, the lucky gold bag is a thing that will uh, cost around $5. And you will have a 100% to get a gold hero. Don't buy this. Don't buy this because of the fact that not all gold heroes are good. Actually, a higher percentage of the gold heroes that you can get from here are worse. 
Uh, and the problem is that those chests don't even say which gold heroes they contain, because they might as well don't con not contain heroes that are usually hard to get, like just like Cyborg, like uh, Heartbreaker Harley Quinn, like Last of the Joker. And because uh, uh, this does not say which specific hero it contains, then I simply can't recommend you buy this. And even if it did, a 2 star hero is not going to do much for you and that price is not going to be really worth it for it. And now let's get back and check the arena store thingy. Hopefully Flash's gears are still there. Okay, arena. Arena store. Gears. Come on. Yes, just like the Flash gears are thankfully still here, so you have absolutely no reason to buy them from the offer store you can buy them from the arena store for almost next to no medals. So with all that being said, this was everything for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found it helpful. Like this if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Comment down below for any questions that you might have. Maybe subscribe, maybe hit that bell button, and I'll see you in the next one.